We are continuing our fall weather week here on 7 News and coming up tonight, 7 Weathers Dan Bickford is talking about hawk migration. With that in mind, we reached out to a local rescue group to learn more about birds of prey. Well, tonight Dan Bickford will bring us his story on hawk migration, so we thought it would be nice to bring in the fine folks with Wildlife Rehab of Greenville. We have Wendy Watson with us, we have Susan Stack, and we have Patricia Knighty. Yes. I got that correct, didn't yes. I? All right, thank you ladies for coming in. Uh, we wanted to talk a little bit about uh, the amazing birds that we have in our area, uh, in the upstate and Western North Carolina, and y'all are called in when there are injuries involved. So who do we have here first, Wendy? This is Diana. Mm -hmm. She is um, very fierce, I say. Um, she bit me just a minute ago. Oh, did she? Yes, she did. The yeah, she wants to bite oh, you too. Oh, I saw that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Be careful with the hands. Okay, she, she's an American kestrel. She is. She's and closely related to a hawk. To falcon? the peregrine falcon. Wow. She, you can kind of see the eye stripes that she's got. I'm not going to get very close. She's absolutely gorgeous. Um, the males and the females look different mm -hmm. in this species. The males have more pronounced color. Um, they're just stunning birds. They are. They are beautiful. And they are ama just amazing animals and what they can do. What is Diana's story? How did she come to y'all? Well, um, I have a friend who has a rehab in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. And she was looking to place um, Diana and another bird, mm -hmm. which I brought with me, but I don't have out right now. Okay. And, um, and being willing, I was like, oh, pick me, pick me. <laughs> so no she, um, I, I have a federal permit to possess these birds. Okay. And they have to work. So we're working today. Yes, educational. Absolutely. Animals. And the goal, the ultimate goal is to release them back into the wild, but sometimes that's just not possible. Right. And what about with Diana? So Diana has um, had a broken leg and it was not healed properly, so it's weak. So to release her to be out in the wild and, um, you know, landing on things mm -hmm. and trying to catch her prey and oh, stuff, yeah. it could re-break. They, they need those claws, they need those legs. Yeah, so um, she's just deemed non-releasable due to that. And Diana has some friends with her. <laughs> Who do we have next? This is, a, she's a little bit of a celebrity, isn't she? This is, this is Widget. Oh, this is Widget. Yeah, he's a little. This is a little boy. He's, hi Widget. This is a screech owl? <laughs> he's an eastern screech owl in the red phase. Uh -huh. he, um, he was hit by a car in oh, Piedmont. Amazing. And he's blind in this birds, eye. It, it does. It, and I can tell you why. Why? Um, if you litter on the road, you throw trash out, um, maybe a french fry or even a wrapper that smells like food, it will attract rodents to the roadside and that's what they eat. And it brings them closer to the cars. Exactly. I think it's okay so to, to, to litter with food just because it's not a paper product but or plastic, but you really should not be throwing food out. Anything there because you go. It, it attracts the rodents and then the raptors fly in mm -hmm. and they, they like, Oh, there's my food and they get hit by cars. It's amazing to me that something so little survived. Okay. Um, but he's 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 a good boy. Bridget, and, and he's got a friend, Winnie, right? Winnie, yeah. Winnie's staying in the in their little house, right? She is right now. Um, we don't have enough hands to hold Winnie, I know, too. I know, I know. Um, and this is uh, Mel. Mel has been on our airwaves before. Yep, he's a barred owl. He was also hit by a car. Um, he's from Florida. Mm -hmm. Hey, buddy. And he hey, was on Mel. the ground <laughs> for three days before he, they could catch him and fi find him and catch him. Um, he's blind in one eye, which is a theme. We got a theme going on here. Yeah. And um, he was knocked in the head, so he's a little slow. He's the perfect Ed bird. He is so sweet. He is so dignified. He's a, just, he he's see his wonderful. eye, the, the gray eye. And these are all, th these will all stay on as educational animals. Exactly, right? they're with me until their final days. Yes. Well, if folks come across uh, a bird or an animal that, that's in need of rescue, they should, they should call your facility, correct? Absolutely. It's 864-233-0339. Mm -hmm. um, and, and once you get on the phone with them, you kind of instruct them, you know, what to do with it. And so exactly. Y'all can get out there. If it's safely, if it can safely be done, 
we'd want you to get it contained somehow in a box, or even if you have a cat carrier, um, you want to wear some leather gloves. You don't, you're not going to have raptor handling gloves, but if you have some leather gardening gloves that and a towel, yeah. you can safely get it into a box. Okay, okay. And um, I, now you just won't go out for any animal that's in anybody's backyard. So you can't just call if you've got a, po a, a possum back there and you want it gone. I mean, it, there needs to be something wrong with it. it in order orphan and injured animals are what we take care of. If you go, there's a raccoon that's coming in my yard every night eating my trash or my cat food. We're going to say, take up the cat food and keep your trash secured. The raccoon lives there. We're not going to come get it. Well, every life is worth saving, and you know you might just think it's just one bird. Oh well, if it if it dies, but it's important to keep them alive and, and try to do our best to. to Absolutely. Um, you know, give them life. Yeah, yeah, and these birds have purpose. They're educating the public, right. so they they're living with purpose. That's right. And then owls are very wise, as we know. <laughs> okay. Well, ladies, thank you so much for coming in. Thank We're going to put that phone number on our website so folks know how to get in touch with you in case they come across an injured bird. All right. Thank you so much. Appreciate thank you. It. Thank you. That is just, amazing. I know. They're uh, amazing uh, animals there. I, can I just quickly say, I erroneously teased that we were going to have the cute baby raccoons right. and the seven opossum siblings on our Facebook page and I was mistaken we're gonna have that tomorrow Perfect. for you so viewers like Jesse Cooney who is tuning in to see the raccoons I'm so sorry we're gonna have them tomorrow on Carolina's family at four that'll be great well meteorologist Dan Bickford keeping an eye on what's happening out there he's gonna be talking about hawk migration at 11 tonight which will be a lot of fun